We have 3,000 people currently who are hospitalized. We have 756 people in ICU units. The ICU units are the ventilated units. That's 23% of the hospitalizations. That's the problem. As the number of cases go up, the number of people in hospital beds goes up, the number of people who need an ICU bed and a ventilator goes up, and we cannot address that increasing curve. Again, you look at the number of cases in the country, you'll see that New York is uh, an outlier in the number of cases. It's not even close. What is happening in New York is not a New York phenomenon, right? People in New York don't have a different immune system than other Americans. Uh, it's not higher in New York because we are New Yorkers. It's higher in New York because it started here first, because we have global travelers coming here first, because we have more density than most places. But you will see this in cities all across the country. And you will see this in suburban communities all across the country. We are just a test case. We are just a test case. And that's how the nation should look at it. Look at us today. Where we are today, you will be in three weeks, or four weeks, or five weeks, or six weeks. We are your future. And what we do here will chart the course, course for what we do in your city and in your community. I'm not asking you to help New York just to help New York. I'm asking you to help New York to help yourselves. Let's learn how to do it right. And let's learn how to do it right here. And let's learn how to act as one nation. And let's learn how to act as one nation here. And we learn the lesson here. We will save lives in your community. I promise you that. 